A live cane toad has been discovered on Saibai Island in the Torres Strait, marking the furthest north the pest has spread in Australia. George Nona is the chairperson of the Torres Strait Regional Authority and he joins us now. George, welcome back to News Breakfast. Yeah, thank you, James. Thanks for having me on, um, on, the, on the show, you mate. It's our pleasure. So where was this toad found? Yeah, the, um, the toad was actually found um, on Saibai Island and just for the viewers here um as um it, the torres strait is a beautiful uh, part of uh, australia um it's actually located between um cairns actually australian mainland and papua new guinea and it was actually located um uh, and discovered by our local uh, torres strait regional authority rangers um on on on, on Saibai. Mm. and um as as you know that it's the it's officially the furthest north that this pest actually um, has spread in Australia, an unwanted milestone yeah. actually for our region. So Saibo Island is right up near Papua New Guinea. It's in the north of the Torres Strait. How do you think it got there? Well, uh, we suspect that it, you know, as as we know that it's 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 all islands and in between is water, and we suspect that it actually hopped onto a vessel and um, survived the sea journey um, undetected. Yeah. I mean, islands, uh, not just in the Torres Strait, but of course, all around Australia are often safe havens for native animals because uh, the water makes it very difficult for invasive species to get across. How worrying is this uh, to you and other Torres Strait Islanders? What sort of damage would cane toads do if they get a foothold there? Well, cane toads are officially um, recorded um, on the inner islands, um, where I actually I'm speaking from the the Kaurig Nation, mm. uh, the Inner Islands back in uh, in the 2000s, and um, Torres Strait Outer Islands are among few places in, in in Queensland that are still cane toad free. 